This is our first Thanksgiving edition, and tomorrow is Thanksgiving here, and I wanted to let everyone know that um, regardless of where you are, regardless of if you're at work or if you're traveling or if you're going to be with loved ones or staying at home by yourself with your dog, like Leo who's laying here beside me, um, I hope that everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving and can find things to be thankful for this year. One thing I want to talk about a little bit is there's a lot of quote-unquote disappointment that comes as you grow in a development career. And I want to encourage you to be thankful for every one of those that happens because they're going to help you grow professionally and personally. I remember the first time I wrote a grant and didn't get it and wish for all of my clients that it would happen very early on in their grant writing careers because it's just a step. It's just one place to get over and realize you're not going to get them all. It's not feasible that you would unless you just write one ever. And it's a learning experience. It helps you grow. You need to ask for feedback. What could you do better the next time? What did you not do well this time? Or maybe you did everything great and they just didn't choose your proposal and you still have that disappointment to deal with. Maybe those were dollars that you were counting on or that you really felt like you had to have. And now you have to come up with a new way to raise those dollars, with a new way to fill the gap, and with a new way to provide the services that your organization offers. So it really does help you grow, even though I know in the moment that you're disappointed and in the moment you were like, why am I wasting my time with this? I want you to just think that at some point, hopefully shortly thereafter, you'll be able to look back on that experience and find something good from it and grow. I have a client who recently um, didn't meet all of her goals for the year that she hoped and now is in the process of reevaluating what can she do between now and the end of the year to meet all of her goals. So there's going to be some new challenges, there's going to be growing, there's going to be stretching um, time and energy and resources to make that happen, but as, as a whole it's going to help her grow as a development staff. I have another client who reached all of her goals so far this year, and it's only Thanksgiving, and now she's looking at how can she grow even more for next year. There can be positives in anything that we think might not be, and so I want you to be thankful for all of those. Every time you make a mistake, you're going to grow from that. The first time you go ask a donor, I have a friend, Gina, who probably won't mind me using her name, I hope not anyway, and you know when she started fundraising with me, she was petrified to go out and ask people for money but she's great at it. And the thing she had to get over was being told no. She felt like they were personally telling her no, that they didn't want to give her money. And as soon as we got her over that point and realized there's always a reason why someone doesn't want to give or can't give or might want to give next year, or maybe they're overextended this year or fully committed this year, or the particular thing you're asking them to support is not in their wheelhouse, it's not their priority, then you'll be able to accept that easier and say, you know what, I appreciate your time, or would it be possible for me to come back next year, depending on what the reason is they tell you. And as soon as she got over that, now she loves fundraising. She's great at it. She loves working with people. She loves talking to people. She is not scared to be told no anymore, and it doesn't affect her in a negative way. Um, she has learned to look past the initial no and see the actual reasons why. So a lot of things that could be potentially disappointing or you might not want to be thankful for, will help you grow. I mean, I don't know of a fundraiser or a consultant that has had a positive experience every single time they've tried every project. And if they did, if I did, I wouldn't grow. You know, I did a lot of new things this year in the business and some of them went really well, some of them were awesome, some of them weren't so good and some of them were kind of crappy. But I learned from every single one of those experiences and I encourage you to do the same. So as you spend Thanksgiving, wherever you are and whoever you're with, I encourage you to try to look at some positive aspect of what you might be right now considering a negative experience and help that let your development skills grow for the future. And I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, a wonderful holiday. And if you haven't already, please go to YouTube and join our family of Funny for Good. And we'll see you next week.